Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, we are looking at private browsing. This feature will let you keep what you're doing in Safari a little more secretive. For example, let's say we're looking at good birthday gifts for mom. Whether we type it in here or up there, if somebody came back on our device, like let's say we're using an iPad and you know, they're just browsing along looking at stuff and they see in our history here on Google, that we were looking for birthday gifts and we wanted to keep it a surprise. Well, we just got busted and our surprise is ruined. So there's a way to actually prevent that from happening and that's by using private browsing. When enabled, private browsing won't keep track of your web history and then when you disable it, it will completely delete any trace of that. So let's go ahead and learn how to do it. As you can see here, this is normal Safari mode and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second here. So in order to enable private browsing, you wanna go into your settings app and once you're in settings, scroll down until you see Safari right there. We're gonna tap on Safari and about halfway down on the screen, you'll see privacy. Under privacy, there's private browsing. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now you'll be prompted on whether or not you'd like to close the existing tabs before turning on private browsing. So if you choose to keep all, it will keep your existing tabs open and enter private browsing. If you decide to close all, it'll close everything out and start a new session. So we're gonna go ahead and choose close all. You can choose either one you'd like though, it's up to you. So now when we go into Safari here, you'll notice that everything turns black. You have a nice sleek black browser here. And so now anything that you enter in here during this session will not be saved. So if we're searching for birthday gifts, we don't have to worry about our history popping up again. It's a pretty neat feature and it definitely can come in handy. To disable private browsing, all you have to do is go back into the settings app here and navigate back to Safari, go to private browsing again and flip it to off. Again, it'll ask you if you'd like to close your existing tabs before turning off private browsing. Open tabs will no longer be private. So if you were looking for something that you'd like to keep a secret, such as a birthday gift, you would probably wanna choose close all. So once you've closed all, go back into Safari, you'll see that you're opened up to a blank page again. I hope this was helpful for everyone. Please leave a comment below if you have a tip or if there's something that you'd like to see on iOS advice and let us know what you think. Thanks again for watching. My name is Dom and this is iOS advice.